Hello, I'm Jeff Reynolds. And I'm KT Lowe. And we're, go we're going to be presenting a reading from Blankets by Craig Thompson for Banned Books Week. Banned Book Week. You know, it celebrates our freedom to read. You'd think books weren't banned anymore, however... Not true, Jeff. Not at all. Blankets was challenged in 2006 in Marshall, Missouri for being pornographic. This? Porn? But it's so beautiful. I mean, take a look at it. Luckily, the book was added back to the shelves, but not after being removed for review and access inaccessible to the public. That's awful, since the book is so insightful and appealing. Yep, censorship sucks. However, the book was a winner was a was a winner of numerous awards. It won a Harvey Award for Best Artist and an Ignatz Award for Best Graphic Novel, and it was also number eight for Best Graphic Novels of the Decade by Time Magazine. Shall we take a look and so that people know why it's so great? You bet. You look like you're staring up at the stars. I am. You can see through the ceiling, can't you? I can. So whatever happened to Snowball? My parents returned him to the pet store one day without telling us too much to handle. And then she sang to me. Show me how you do it. And I promise you, promise that I'll run away with you. It was almost a whisper. And I'll run away with you. A whisper of exhaustion as she muzzled her forehead deep into my shoulder. Craig? Yes. Please, don't ever leave me. I will. I promise. And then she fell asleep. So what's this book about, do you think? It's about a young man growing up, ultimately. On his way to discover himself, he falls in love sheds some of his religious beliefs, and finds what he wants to do in life. But it's also about challenging oneself and one's beliefs, which can sometimes seem threatening to some people. But pornographic? I, I, I just don't see it. Well, there's a scene where the two main characters are in bed together. There's no real statement that the characters are having sex. And there's no full body nudity anywhere. But the page is so elegant, so delicately rendered. Why don't you look at it for yourself? Wow. Just, wow. Okay, I still don't see it. But, but the point is, we have a right to read whatever we want. That's right. Because Blankets was defended by the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund in a widely publicized letter, the city of Marshall was reminded that we have indeed the right to read a book like this. And we can defend that right. The Comic Book Legal Defense Fund is a great source for learning about your rights as a reader and what you can do to stop censorship in your hometown. And you may also check out the American Library Association and the Freedom to Read Foundation for more information on this subject. You know, the First Amendment guarantees that you can read whatever you want. That's right. And I do. I do too. Shall we read some more? Yeah! Where's my blanket? It's probably...